In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Serum 2 in Ableton. First things first, go to expertrecords.com. This is right on the home page, or if it's not, you can go to products, go to Serum 2. And one thing I wanna say is if you've already bought and legally own Serum 1, you can upgrade to Serum 2 for free. However, let's say if you haven't done that yet, you do have to go on here, create an account, and then purchase Serum 2. And once you do, all I'm gonna do is go here to download, right? And I'm gonna download the newest version of Serum available. I have a Mac, so I'm gonna click here to download it for Mac. Now, once I download it, I'm gonna install it using this install wizard, right? So just open it up. And the good thing about this installation wizard is it automatically installs it in the right places. You don't have to manually take the files and put it in your VST folder, for example. I'm just gonna continue, agree, install, and then I'm gonna do all these Typical things when it comes to an installation wizard, it's gonna write all the files. It takes a little bit, like a few minutes. A few moments later. All good to go. So now everything, all the files are in the right locations. Next, I'm gonna pull up Ableton. And then once I pull up Ableton, I'm gonna go to plugins. And one thing I wanna say, in case you didn't know, is Serum 2 is a VST3 file, not a VST file. So if you're looking here being like, wait, where is Serum 2? Why is it not appearing? I'm gonna go do live then settings, then plugins. And I'm gonna go here to use VSC3 plugin system folders. Once I do, it's gonna scan all my VSC3 files. So I have two different sections here now, VST and VST3. I'm gonna go to VST3, go down to extra records all the way at the bottom, and then boom, I have Serum, Serum 2, and Serum 2 effects. So I'm gonna load up Serum 2. Takes a quick second, here it is. And one last thing I might as well say, in case you didn't know, is make sure that this red dot is selected on Serum 2. So if this is like this, for example, I'm trying to play it, you're not gonna hear anything. So you have to go here, select this to make sure this is the exact track I wanna play, and then now, all good to go. 